All right, well, let's just jump right in. Uh, so this is slightly different. So this is a business analytics uh, event and uh, we're talking about infrastructure. So why are we talking about infrastructure? So if you think about it, there's a strong correlation between infrastructure and what runs on the infrastructure. In Cisco, we've been on this journey for a while with the application-centric infrastructure. We said network should be catering to the application, make everything application-centric. What Tetration is doing is building a very powerful engine that detects everything that's happening very quickly, does behavior analysis on that, tells you about behavioral anomalies, generates an events around policy to any platform that does orchestration of that policy. It is truly designed for data center scale. It is designed to handle millions of events per second, store billions of records over time. And we wanted the capability to kind of replay everything that happened like a DVR and see how your data center, how your applications were acting at any given time. So the focus, first and foremost, what we want to do here is provide complete visibility in all applications. What's leading to this complexity? Why even bother about doing any analytics in the data center infrastructure? 70 to 80 percent of their traffic never leaves the walls of the data center. All the security and monitoring, everything is sitting at the perimeter. So what's happening inside? Nobody knows. If you now take the same model and they want to expand to the hybrid cloud, you know, take some of your workloads and move to public cloud, now you've got to create pinholes in your perimeter. And how do you know which pinholes you need to create? How do you go to a zero trust model? How do you make sure that everything is by default blocked and then you only permit things as they should be? How do you make sure if you get audited, you can go and pinpoint specific events and say this did happen or did not happen. And if this did happen, I took a remediation action. So it's a very big problem if you don't have any visibility into what's in your environment. So how do you keep up and continue to uh, make this very agile development model? Every two weeks there's a new application coming up. Most of the people who have deployed applications over time they've mushroomed and they have no idea what the applications are. What we're essentially building is a solution that looks at how the applications behave. How do they talk to each other? And if the behavior changes, that's when we say, ah, oh, there's something interesting going on. We need to address that. So again, the model we're proposing is let it all in. We're going to continuously monitor the behavior. We'll tell you if it does bad things, and we'll tell you it in seconds. There's a handful of alpha projects we're doing in Cisco. This is the first one that we've productized and taken to market. But we did not want to build a solution that the networking team could use only. You would need a single pane of glass so you could see everything. Everybody could look at same information, same data, same analysis, and make decisions on that. So this is truly designed for network ops, for security and policy teams, for application groups, uh, for application insights. Complete visibility for forensics teams. If some event did happen, if you want to go back and mine data and see what actually happened, who talked to whom, if you want to do that, that's also a um, single pane of glass. So what we're shipping today is uh, it's a very simple model. First and foremost, we do application insights. So the way we do application insights, we observe the behavior and we start creating a baseline. Uh, the model is very simple, but we can do it in real time for tens of thousands of servers. So that's the scale is where it becomes, and we could do it in, in a few minutes. Then we can automate the whitelist policy. From the observed behavior, we can say what your whitelist policy should look like. The policy impact assessment basically gives this extra insurance. So you could say, play the traffic in real time and see how this policy will make the applications behave. Will it break something? So it's a massive improvement in operations on how fast you can get to a more secure, more zero trust model. You think this is what your infrastructure should behave like. Is it really behaving like that? And if we see any exceptions, we can flag it. Most of the hacks these days, they're very, very patient. They don't try to exfiltrate attack right away. So they do, they do a lot of reconnaissance work, sometimes for months. And the big, um, uh, big attack really comes after they, once they know it's gonna have a very high probability of success. If you can follow the threat chain from all the way from your endpoint to your campus network, to your data center network, to your applications, to your data, then it becomes much more effective. Forensics is, think of this like a Google-like search for everything that happened in the data center. So what we did is first build our own instrumentation. We have an agent model that you see on the server. It's a very lightweight, efficient, highly secure agent that we can put on every Linux or Windows workload. We look at the metadata, we never collect payload. The metadata we're collecting is quite efficient. It's even the 150 signals is not pretty heavy. So it's about 1% overhead on the network. So it's very, very light. 
and we could store and scale it out for several months on our platform. Most of our products get sold to operators, not data scientists. So we wanted to build this as an appliance that anybody can operate. So it's truly a one-touch appliance. It comes racked and stacked, uh, you power it up, about three hours later it's up and running, right? So this is a closed loop, this is holy grail of automation, where just machines are doing all the work. For those of you who have not seen Mr. Robot, if you go to RSA, they always give you these USB keys. Everybody has a USB key. Do not plug it in ever. 